Sarah Jacobson, Marketing Art Place. So today we're going to talk about January of my year of videos. And in this selected period, which is January 1st to January 31st, I got 6,284 views. Um, to give you a kind of overview of what's going on, this was the hump that came from uh, one of my videos, and I found out it got hooked to um, before and after of my craft room. It got hooked to another video as like a play next, and so I got a lot of views from that, and I have looked at some things that are kind of interesting about that. One is that if you look at that time period, I didn't get any more subscribers. It wasn't like, oh, I got all these views and then I got a lot of subscribers. And part of that is because my, um, that was a craft room video that I did for an affiliate page on my site. Um, but most of my videos are about how to do crafts, not how to organize crafts. So kind of makes sense that they're not going together. All right. My watch time was 633 hours. And my top videos are, of course, that one long one. But my magazine collage does good. That one gets the most views from my website. So I have a page on my website. Uh, unorganizing my stamps and dies. Okay. My reach is impressions, right? So I'm getting a pretty good um, normal impression rate. The impression to click through they say it should be about five or six, so I feel like I'm a little low on this one. Um, but it could be because of that, um, the weird bump. So let's see what happens next month. Um, views 6,000, unique views 4,000. Okay. Uh, traffic sources are browse, I get the most. Suggested videos, search, external, that's me, and director unknown. 3% click-through rate, not good. Uh, that would be the thing that maybe I'll look at trying to fix this one. So here, I love my playlist. This is just people looking at all my videos, then the magazine collage, storage, junk journal and storage boxes. And then see, there's my half of the external comes from my website, a little bit of Facebook, a little bit of Google, but mostly um, I'm driving some of that traffic, which is super cool. All right, let's now, uh, let's look at all the things. Engagement looks always similar to me, I don't know. And audiences, how many subscribers I have. Uh, you can see when your viewers are on YouTube. I, I don't know, I can't schedule my day to publish my videos at three and then promote them, so I just promote them in the, I just usually, do them in the morning. Um, okay, so that's great. Another thing I, and that's all in my analytics. Another thing I look at frequently is to see if I got enough to, uh, to monetize. So I have 435 subscribers, so I'm almost halfway there. And then uh, I have 1,600 watch hours. And I feel like they're, they're kind of going up together. I feel like he may be lagging a tiny bit. Um, and if I ha didn't have that, like 3000 people, that would be really hurting me. So, um, anyways, that's that. So let's go back to analytics and compare it to last month. So last month was December. Um, I got 4,900 views. Let's see. Let's make sure this is January 4th. So let's, sometimes it kind of changes itself. So January 1st, apply. Okay, in the selected period, I got 6,284 views, which includes the bump, right? So let's talk about the bump. Now, that is like a little gift from YouTube heaven, right? I don't like the bump because it messes with my statistics. It makes me have to think about things, but I do like the bump because I got a whole bunch of views. Now, do I consider the bump a way to increase my views? Um, sure, if I could get another video that was really similar to one, but I don't think that um, 
I don't think as much of that is based on what I can do as what YouTube decides is a good um, is a good video. So all I can control is making a ton of good videos, right? Um, which is what I did. I published 20 videos last month. You can see every business day I published a video. And uh, so things are going good. I wanted to give you, uh, oh, I wanted to show you one other thing. So I, um, I changed my channel, right, last month and uh, made it look a little bit better, got my, you know, things. But what I found out was, like, this is, this is backwards. So this is showing my stuff that I did a year ago, and I feel like that makes it look a little funny. Like, do people know to go down here and see that I'm still publishing um, videos? So I want to, um, I want to change that, and it took me a wee second to figure out how to change that. You actually change that in your playlists, okay? So you want to go in here, you want to do your, click on that pay playlist, you want to sort newest to oldest, right? So now we'll see that there. Let's see if there's a save button. I don't know there's a save button. Let's go home. Let's go to my channel. Okay, so here is the Pause before this. of my craft room. And now uploads. Oh, good. So now they're backwards. And I noticed this on my friend Deb Wards. What happened was I was looking through her stuff to give her a referral. And um, it looked like all her videos were old. And I was like, because if you see a year, you think, oh, it's a year and older, you don't think, oh, it's just listed backwards. So I am for sure going to go to all my playlists and make them backwards, right? So that it looks much better. So hopefully that helps. Oh, 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 hold on one second. This is something that I do with my, um, my bestie. So I want to do custom and I want to see the whole last year, right? So this is January 31st, 2021, and I'm going to go back to January 31st, 2020. And I want to look at what the whole year looks like, right? The last rolling year. And so I can feel really bad about the bump not going, but look at how much better I'm doing. This was before the bump, and this is after I started publishing every day. So I feel like I'm really doing well, headed in the right direction, and I'll talk to you next month.